So why do you play the game? I know it seems like a simple question. I know it seems like the kind of question that's just, why even ask it? What does it do? And quite frankly, I think it can become one of the most important questions you ask yourself to figure out how to best enjoy this hobby. Do you play to, to win? Is that the only reason you play? In which case you can do any other type of game. You can do any number of games. Video games, chess, super balanced. Been historically balanced for thousands of years. But why do you play war game? Do you envision yourself a year, five years, 10 years down the road? What do you envision yourself doing with this hobby? Do you see yourself with your friends in your basement, in your garage, at the local game store? Or do you envision yourself sitting atop the ITC standings? Do you see yourself at top table at LVO? Do you see yourself winning at Depticon? What is it that you see when you envision yourself playing this game? Ask yourself, seriously, ask yourself, what is it that you envision yourself doing a year, five years, 10 years from now when it comes to this hobby? Because that's how you determine how you're gonna enjoy this game. <laughs> because a lot of people talk about things like the balance of the game and Codex Creep. They talk about a lot of things. They talk about broken units. They talk about not being able to use their models. And there's a lot of griping about how GW only listens to the competitive players when they come out with these ideas. And quite frankly, that should only matter to you if you want to be a competitive player. Because if you're just playing with your friends, if you're just in your basement, if you're at your local game store, then why does it matter if your army's not great? Why does it matter if your army isn't the top of the meta? Why does it matter if Tau, if Admech, if Custodes are better than what you have? At the end of the day, those ideas, those concepts, they literally only matter if you're looking to compete at a top level in this game. If you're looking to have fun, if you're looking to just play the game, then there's no reason that you can ignore the things that annoy you. So if your friend brings orcs, and they had fun bringing just two buggies, but one, two squads of them, one buggy in each, probably not going to break the game with you. And there's no reason that you can't say, bring it anyway. It's fun. I know GW said you can only bring one of each type per squad, one squad of each. But it's more fun for you. And it's not going to break the game. Those are the only two buggies that he brings. And you can determine that in your meta, your personal meta, that it doesn't matter. That it's more fun that way. And that becomes the impetus for your gaming, is enjoying it. Because at the end of the day, you know what your meta is, you know what is helpful for you, and you know what's not helpful for you. So do what you want with it. Now, if you want to be at the top of the ITC, if you want to be there on day three of LVO, if you want to finish with a trophy at Adepticon, then those questions become more important. Those thoughts become more important. But here's something to think about if that's really what you envision yourself doing. The top players in the game 
don't just play to get a victory. They play because they enjoy it. They like this game. They like Warhammer 40K. Many of them like all aspects of it. Painting, modeling, list building, practicing, playing, and yes, winning. But the theory crafting and coming up with concepts and figuring out how to beat different units and different metas and adapting to the changes to the codexes, adapting to the changes of the balances, adapting to the changes in the FAQs, all of that is what they enjoy. And that's why they do so well. Because trying to figure out how things work in a changing meta is entertaining to them. So when I talk to the top players, when I've seen them at tournaments or talk to them online, when they talk about the game, they still enjoy it. They still like what's going on. They may talk about the health of the game, but their concern at that point is not them. Their concern at that point is not how do you keep up with all this. Their concern is for casual players thinking they have to keep up with it. And the casual players who get upset about it are upset because it's hard to keep up with, because that's not what they enjoy. So by asking yourself this question, do you see yourself winning? Do you see yourself successful? Do you see yourself being at the top of the meta? That involves a lot more than just playing a game and winning. That involves wanting to do the dirty work that takes to get there. A lot of those guys play their list dozens of times, if not hundreds of times, before it actually hits the table at a tournament. They know what's going on. They'll start at the top of the turn, go through one turn, and then reset. Go through one turn, reset. Go through one turn, reset. That's how they get to the point that they're competing at that top level. And if that's not fun for you, if that's not what you wanna do, then you're probably not gonna be competing against them at the top table. You're not gonna be there at day two of L uh, day three of LVO. And at that point, you need to reevaluate what it is that you're looking for from this hobby. If you're looking to keep up with the meta, you're looking to keep up with all these changes, that becomes what it becomes. That's what it's part of. Keeping up with the meta becomes the hobby for them. And if that's not your hobby, then ask yourself why you're trying to do it. If you don't like painting, then don't paint. If you don't like doing all of this, keep up with all of the meta and the changes in the FAQs with the bleeding edge of the meta, picking up new armies and building them, fine crafting lists so that they can counter all of that, then don't do it. Take from this hobby what you want it to be. And then understand that each of those aspects are gonna ask for greater or lesser things from you. So if you're just looking to have fun, then the balance sheet, the FAQs, some codex for an army that neither you nor your friends play, it doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything for you. And once you let go of that need to care about it, you can enjoy the game a lot more. Or once you understand that that's part of enjoying this game to get to that level that you want to, then suddenly you're less likely to want to complain about it because it's something that becomes intrinsic to your enjoyment of the hobby. So be honest with yourself. Ask that question. Figure out the answer to it and then figure out how you enjoy this hobby. Because if winning is important to you and everything else comes second, honestly, there are better ways to get a win out there than doing this hobby. But if this hobby is important to you, then understand what part of the hobby is important to you. If it's just painting, then you don't even have to buy the rule book. Just buy the models that you think are cool. If it's just gaming to have fun, then just get the models you need to play. Buy the books that you need to play. Don't buy the supplements if you don't want. 
Don't download the FAQ if you don't want. You and your friends can determine what you need to enjoy this game. And that becomes important because that becomes the hobby for you. That becomes the game. An FAQ, a balanced data sheet, a supplement, another codex for an army isn't the game. The game is what you make of it. So ask yourself that question, be honest with yourself with that question, and figure out what you want out of this. Because if you're not enjoying yourself, then there's no reason to be doing this hobby. And finding that enjoyment is the entire essence of turning this from a grudge, a drudgery, into a hobby. And I know it's not an easy question to answer sometimes. I know that it might make you be more self-reflective than you want to. I find myself in that same situation. But the honest answer is what's gonna make you enjoy this. Because so I came to that same conclusion. It's like, how hard do I wanna try to win? What part of this aspect is important to me? And I came to the realization that I don't have that killer instinct when it comes to the gaming part. I don't have the desire to buy a whole new army every time a new da balanced data sheet comes out. I don't find the urge to go out and buy a new army because a new codex is coming that looks really cool. To me, trying my hardest, having fun, and collecting cool models is what's important to me. I like going to big events like LVO, like Nova, because it's fun to see all of my friends. It's fun to see all of those nerds gathered together in this room to play the game that I love. I like to go to local tournaments because I get to spend a day playing three rounds, playing three games, and everyone's bringing a hard list, a list that they think is cool. And that's fun to me. Being able to try to make a tough list that I think could do well, tweaking it, trying new things, playing with it, that's great to me. But I'm not gonna go out and buy a Crusher Stampede because that's what's the new hotness. I'm not gonna go out and buy a Drukhari army because that's the new hotness. I'm also not gonna be apologetic for bringing a whole bunch of Terminators for my Dark Angels because I've had them since 6th edition. And I'm gonna bring them because they're good. So to me, my enjoyment of the game comes somewhere in the middle where I have to have an understanding of what's going on but at the end of the day, if I don't win top table at LVO, I don't care. Because I went to LVO to have fun, to see my friends. To go have Korean barbecue afterwards or, or a sushi burrito on the Sunday instead of playing on the top tables. I like painting. I like having cool looking models that have been painted on my, on my shelf. I like sometimes playing and painting models that aren't cutting edge, edge metas, that are just really cool looking. And that's what the hobby becomes for me. It's because I told myself, and here's the thing, like I said, it's not an easy question to answer sometimes, and it makes you have to think about things in a way that's difficult to really appreciate. But it was hard for me to admit that I wasn't gunning for top table. Because I look at some of the other content producers out there. You know, I look at the Scaris. I look at the Steven Boxes. You know, I look at the, the Lawrence Bakers. I look at these guys who have awesome channels that do great content. And I wonder, would I be better served if I was trying to be as competitive as them? As tactically sound as them? And I realized I, that's not me. And that's not what I want to do. And that people turn to me because of other things. And that's the same thing for you. That your friends are in this hobby with you for a reason. 
And if you're the Art of War guys, you're all in the same house because you're all very competitive guys. But if it's just your friend that you meet up with every Friday or every other Friday or once a month and hang out in your backyard on a Saturday, meet up at the game store once a week, odds are they're not meeting you and playing with you because of your cutting edge meta ability. They're probably meeting up with you because they like you as a person. And if they like you as a person, they're gonna want you to be happy. And if being happy means not caring about the balance, not caring about the latest codex, then I guarantee you they will be happy for that. So again, I'm going to tell you to ask yourself this question. Why do you play this hobby? Why do you do it? Where do you find the enjoyment from it? And then I'm going to ask you to ask yourself the difficult question of what do I want out of this hobby? And if you're honest with yourself, you're going to find a way to make this fun. So do it. Make this hobby fun again. Make it enjoyable. Make it what you want. Make it for you. And if you just want to go to tournaments to play with your toys, that's awesome. <laughs> if you just want to go to LVO to show off your cool paint job, that's amazing. If you want to go to LVO to try to be there on day three, compete for the top prize, that's astounding. But be honest with yourself. Ask yourself what it is that you want out of this. Not what would be cool, you know? Oh, it'd be really cool if we were all rock stars. But do you want to put in the hours and hours and hours of practice that it takes to become good at the instrument? To become good at singing? Do you feel the inclination to express your most inner thoughts through words that are going to be heard by millions of people? If the answer is no, then you're going to be a really awful rock star. And that's not what you should be aiming for. So be honest with yourself while you're in this hobby. And understand that just because the ITC is there, just because someone wins LVO doesn't mean that that's what you should be aiming for. And that's what you have to aim for to enjoy this hobby. You could go to no tournaments ever. You could play with gray models in your basement. You can have fully painted beautiful armies and never play a single game. You could pay someone else to paint your army so you get your 10 points in your game and know the strategies in and out like the back of your hand. All of these are possible. All of these are legitimate reasons and legitimate ways to pursue this hobby. But there's only gonna be one way that's going to make you enjoy it. So find that way. Make it fun. Make it for you. And tell anyone who disagrees to enjoy their hobby their way. To go have fun and do what they want to do. Because at the end of the day, the only person you're beholden to when it comes to this hobby is yourself. So ask the tough question, be brutally honest with yourself, and understand that no one can give you that answer except for you. And that if you lie to yourself, you're doing no one a favor. And if you lie to yourself, you are not gonna enjoy this hobby. There's nothing you should do. There's only what you want to do when it comes to this game. Because it's a hobby. And that's what it's supposed to do, is bring you joy.
and you're the only person who knows what aspects are gonna bring you joy. So do it. Ask the tough question, be honest with yourself, and then pursue what those answers provide you. Instead of complaining about how hard painting is, instead of complaining about the changes to the rules in the meta, instead of complaining about how your army is no longer good on the table, ask yourself what it is that you find enjoyable about this game. If it's meta chasing, then do it. Be excited, have fun with that, and pursue it. If it's hobbying, then do it. Don't bother with the rule book. Don't pick it up even. Just paint beautiful armies, post them online, show them to your friends, bring them to the local gaming store for people to see, and enjoy that. If you just wanna play the game for fun and don't care about how it goes, and you're not looking to compete against everyone around the world, then do it. Find that friend that wants to do that too. Make a really crazy, unbalanced narrative campaign with 20,000 models, half of which are painted, down in your basement at the local gaming store and enjoy the game. And at the end of the day, smile and realize that this is a hobby. There's no way that you have to enjoy it. There's no way that you should enjoy it. There is only how you do enjoy it. Thank you very much. And until next time, stay safe. And most importantly, have fun.